Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel. Um, I've actually never done a series before. Hmm. And I've actually been trying to come up with one. I had a few ideas in my head. I wanted to do a series kind of on affordable makeup and I was trying to figure out a way to do that and I finally figured it out. So this series is going to be called Affordable Friday. So every Friday I'm going to be posting a video. So in the videos I'm going to be talking about affordable makeup. So with these videos it kind of depends on the product but I'm mainly going to be trying out new affordable makeup. I may do videos on some affordable makeup that's already in my collection that I want to talk to you guys about because maybe it's just a really, really great affordable product and um, it's just not new. But most of the things I will be talking about will be new. I will be testing them out, reviewing them. I may do a wear test on them, whether it's a foundation or a concealer. Um, it kind of just depends on the product. But I have a bunch of products kind of lined up to test out, so I am super excited about the series because I love affordable makeup. Drugstore makeup takes up like a huge portion of my makeup collection. Um, I do love affordable drugstore makeup and I want to test them out on my channel so I can share them with you and let you know my thoughts if it's worth it or if it's not. And I just want to show you guys that drugstore makeup can seriously be as good of quality if not better quality than high-end makeup. So that's kind of my little spiel on my new series. So every Friday I will be posting a video. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. Okay, so today's product is a highlighter palette. Like I said, I'm super excited to test this out because it is so beautiful. I've been wanting it for a really, really long time and I finally picked it up. Oh, it is the Milani Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette. So this palette is the Rose Glow color. They also have one that is called Holographic Beams and that's kind of more of a colorful palette. So this palette retails for $12.99. I'm going to read a little bit about it off the Ulta website. This palette features a trio of complimentary micro milled shadows that blend seamlessly with a luminous finish. Each richly pigmented shade delivers multi-dimensional highlighting effects and can be worn alone or together for multiple, the way you like it, customized looks. So I do love all the colors. I think they're all so beautiful. Um, obviously, for at least for my face, this color is probably going to be too dark for me. And this might be too light, but I think that I could definitely mix these two or just use this one on its own. And of course, I can use these as eyeshadows, which is actually what I'm going to do today. That's why I don't have anything on my eyes. I want to kind of test these out on the lid and as well as the face. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a wear test to kind of see how they stay on my face. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So since I will probably be dipping into mostly the gold for this palette, for my eyes, I think I'm going to use this white shade as my lid shade. So I need to put some eyeshadow on and I'm just using this KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette that is not affordable Friday friendly. I want to use this palette more so I thought I would use it in this video. So for the sake of the video I am going to swatch these because why not? I kind of want to feel the texture also so they feel very soft and creamy and buttery. So here are the three shades swatched on my hand. Feel really, really nice. They feel very smooth and buttery and creamy. So I'm really excited to try these now. So for the lid, I'm gonna take this very white highlight. I think I might use my finger because I feel like that's kind of the best way to apply these things. And let's just apply this on the lid. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, that's very white, but look how pigmented that is. Holy shit. Holy crap. Okay, so getting a little fallout, but that's okay. Oh my god, look at the difference. So now I'm going to use a brush to kind of clean it up. In the inner corner. But yeah, this would definitely be too 
white on my face, but I think if I mix it in the gold shade, it'll be like the perfect shade for me. I mean, maybe, maybe in the winter when I'm like super, super pale, it might work. You never know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Like seriously, highlights don't just need to be used on the face, obviously. You can use them anywhere. Go back in with the brush. I'm just going to take the brush I used in my crease and I'm gonna blend it just so there's no like harsh lines. So I'm actually just gonna use this as an inner corner highlight too. This would be like a bomb inner corner highlight shade just regardless of any look you do because it's so bright. It almost does look like it has a, like a silver reflect in it, but I think it looks really pretty. And let's use some under the brow. This might be really bright. Oh, I bet that rose gold shade, the darkest shade in this palette would look so pretty on the lid as well. And personally, I'm usually not a big fan of highlighter palettes just because I feel like I can't use all the shades. And I think a lot of people can work with this palette. Even if you do have a deeper skin tone, I think that you could use the shade of the highlight. You could use these shades on the eyelids. I could definitely make this palette work. So I'm going to put on some lashes off camera and then I will be right back to do highlighter on the face. Okay, so lashes are on. To be honest, I think it looks really good. Um, my lash is kind of messed up. It's not sticking to the inner portion of my eye, so it's kind of messed up, but that's okay. Now time for the fun part, which is highlighter. So I'm just gonna go right in. We're gonna be mixing the shade and the shade. Let's just go right in. We icy today. I'm gonna add a little bit more gold. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks, it's like a metallic. It lo almost looks wet. So definitely metallic. Now oh, the Cupid's bow. For the nose, I'm actually just gonna go in with just the gold shade. Um, I kinda just wanna see what it looks like. Oh. Oh, okay. So I was a little afraid it was gonna be too yellow, but it actually is fine. It looks yellow swatch, but on my nose, I think it looks pretty good, actually. It's definitely not as like bright because the white isn't mixed in, but it's still really pretty. I put a little white on the tip. All right, so this is the final look. Uh, the eyes, the highlights. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and then I will be right back to tell you my thoughts. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've been wearing this for five hours now, so I think I've gathered my final thoughts on this highlighting palette. So the Milani Stellar Light Highlighting Palette I think is beautiful. It is so stunning on the eyes, on the cheekbones. This performed way better than I expected it to. Not that I expected it to be bad. I didn't expect it to be like this metallic, this glowy, and I love it. If you are someone who likes a really glowy, beaming highlight, then you will absolutely love this palette. You may be able to get it to be a little more natural than this if you just don't take as much product. Overall, I can tell the formula is pretty metallic, so 
If you are into very natural looking highlights, this probably isn't the palette for you. Um, I also think that this could work for different skin tones. If you are paler than me, the white highlighting shade should probably be pretty good for you. If not, you could always mix in a little bit of the gold. I think the gold shade works pretty well for my skin tone. I think it'd work great for medium skin tones. And the rose gold shade would work amazing for deeper skin tones. All in all, I think this palette is beautiful. You get three different highlights for $13. I think that is a pretty great deal so I would say you should definitely check out this palette it is amazing by the way it also wore very well on my face I went outside for a little bit and I've kind of just been doing errands around my house I let out my dogs outside and I kind of hung out with them outside for a little bit I got a little sweaty and everything seemed to stay on and it's still very glowy so that's a good sign so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed my first affordable Friday video like this video stay tuned for more coming every single Friday so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye